G'day, it's uh, what, 4.30 a.m. here in Western Australia and I've woken up to this email press release, essentially saying that Ayo Komatsu is now the new team principal with Gunter Steiner departing the organisation with immediate effect. Anyone in business knows that immediate effect is uh, sacked. What has gone on here to see one of our favourite F1 people out of a job? Well, you and I are probably unlikely to find that out, but clearly something has gone awry here. We're only about six weeks away from pre-season testing, and today we get this bombshell that Haas will not be headed by Gunter Steiner. There are only two other team principals who've been at the helm of their team for longer than Gunter and they are Christian Horner and uh, Toto Wolff. I loved Gunter. Now, obviously, I didn't have to work under him. I don't know what sort of manager he is. And to be fair, I have spoken to a couple of people who say that um, he may not have been a great boss. But as a front man for a business, there were few better. There's no doubt that a lot of the sponsorship brought in by Haas would have been positively affected by Gunter's presence. He was huge on Netflix's drive to survive and that gave the team a real personality. And have a look at the comments on Haas's Instagram post about Gunter leaving. They removed the only thing that made them relevant. And the comments go on and on and they are savage. Gunter was more popular than his two drivers, Nico Hülkenberg and Kevin Magnussen, who, by the way, both put up nice posts this morning on Instagram. Nico thanked Gunter for his trust, friendship, and the opportunity to go racing in F1. You're definitely a character. Wished him all the best. And Kevin thanked him for taking him on the journey in 2017 and bringing him back in 2022. And I remember that first race back in Bahrain in 2022, when I caught them after the race outside the Haas garage, and there was great joy after Kevin's impressive result. Now obviously, when you look at the results for Haas, last year they slipped back to 10th, so they are at the bottom end of the paddock, and there was not a great deal to celebrate in the year. And that's probably been the main contributor in this decision, but to leave it so late, something's obviously flared up in the last couple of days at head office. Something that's led to management saying, nope, Gunter, you're out. You'll notice in that press release too that they did not get a statement from Gunter. So it suggests that they've left on not very nice terms. And that's resulted in no Gunter statement. And I think we as fans, and I certainly am a fan of the man, and I imagine you are too by the fact that you're watching this, you want to hear what he has to say, even if it is just corporate speak. So will we hear from Gunter? I hope so. I, I want to find out, I'm sure you do. I know that I'll miss him in the paddock, I'll miss his wife Gertrude and his daughter Greta, who often accompanied him to races. I'll miss these great t-shirts. These popped up at the Austin race last year with both drivers wearing them. I'll miss his funny looks that he'd give me. And I'll miss his friendship. I remember uh, when it was at Budapest last year, I was having dinner in the Nobu with my wife and uh, her sister, and they were sitting at the table next to us. And he came over towards the end of his meal and stood and had a chat with us for probably a good five minutes. And he was a joy to speak to. And of course, I'll miss his accent. I loved it. Unfortunately, his successor has very big boots to fill, but what I imagine AO won't be worried about is being a star on Netflix's drive to survive. If I was at Netflix, I'd be worried about content in 2024 because we're losing a star of the show. No, 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 no! No, God, please, no! Did Gunter get too popular? Was his star status? a factor in this decision because you look at the fact that there were t-shirts about the man, he was stopping all the time in the paddock for selfies, he was up there in the top 10 people of F1, more popular than probably half of the F1 drivers. With Gunter, Haas were batting way out of their league with star power. Of course, Gunter could not end up running a team like Mercedes or Ferrari or Red Bull. They're too proper, they're too corporate. But in Haas, Gunter was able to show his true personality. And that's what brought so many fans to the US-based team. And sometimes management looks at those sort of things and says, no, getting too big for his boots, more important than the team. And I understand that, but I also see that he was a big part of the reason that people followed Haas. You're certainly not following Haas for their results. And when you look at Gunter Steiner, you do need to go back to those two amazing Netflix incidents. This one. And now we are a bunch of wanko. And this one. He does not fuck much my door. Tell him that. Those moments gelled with the public. He was one of very few people to actually say what he thought. And sometimes it got him into trouble. But it's very hard to buy that sort of publicity. He was getting it all for free. And all the time you were seeing the Haas logo. But exposure does not buy you wins. 
and wins brings in the money. And if you're someone like a Gene Haas and you're just shelling out dollar after dollar, at some point you probably have to think, right, well we have to forego the exposure we're getting with our star and bring in someone like Aya, who I don't know. I've seen him in the paddock, of course, but I've never spoken to the gentleman. And I have no doubt that he's good at his job. Although some people on social media are saying, yeah, you've promoted the guy that's overseen the development of a car that was hopeless. They spent $8 million on an upgrade last year and ended up going back to the old car, not the upgraded car. For eight years, Gunter has been at the helm of that team and they are the only team to have joined the competition in that time. It has been a tough road. Certainly on the money side of things, there's uh, an additional $20 million that teams can spend because of this new cost cap, but unfortunately, they haven't rounded up that money and they can't spend it. And I don't know if this is related to the departure of Gunter, but I see that Haas also announced that they've parted company with Simone Rester, who is their technical director. So what effect will this have on staff morale? Well, those who are close to Gunter will now be worried about their long-term tenure. Will they fit in with the new boss's plans? Those who perhaps didn't get on with Gunter will be thinking, right, this could be my opportunity to step up in the organisation. But it certainly has a destabilising effect. And the moment that, that announcement would have hit at the Haas headquarters, uh, people would have been distracted completely. There would be very little work going on. There'd be a lot of soul searching. Where do I stand? Is my position safe? The year before last, I spent probably an hour with Gunter Steiner just following him, photographing him while he went about his work. And he spoke to so many different media outlets and even on race days. Uh, if you want a comment from Gunter, he's there for you. He's extremely open with the media and also with the public. I don't know whether you know this, but uh, he would speak at various F1 experiences events where he would talk honestly about the car's performance. And normally someone involved with the team will gloss over things, but not Gunter. He was up front, he'd say, look, our car's shit at the moment, which is a terrible admission to have to make. But the fans knew it, so no point glossing over it. So where to now for Haas? Well, if management thinks that the direction that Gunter took was wrong, and that's clearly why he's been axed, they will now have to change that direction and do that so close to the start of the season, well, that's a real big ask. I feel sorry for both of the drivers. They're going to be, well, worried, I think, uh, about what's going on. Will the car be any good? They've got to sit in this thing and drive it at 300 plus kilometers an hour. And without a doubt, they're not going to want to sit at the back of the field every single race, just making up the numbers. Gunter Steiner, you've left us with so many powerful memories. Uh, last year, uh, for two points, uh, I mean, I would have hugged uh, the whole paddock. What did you say you would do to the whole paddock? Hug them. I doubt we'll ever see anyone the likes of Gunter again in this sport because it's becoming more and more corporate. And what now for the larger-than-life character? We don't know. I'd like to think he could pop up again in Formula One, but where? In Gunter's departure, we've lost an alpha, says uh, one of my followers here on my Instagram post this morning. I'm dark. I, I think it's going to be terrible for my content, terrible for Netflix, terrible for you. Whether it's going to be a positive for the Haas F1 team remains to be seen. But um, I think AO probably has half a season to settle into the job. Maybe he can pull off some great results. We'll know at some point, but in the interim, I think we just have to be very sad that we've lost one of the great men in a great sport. Now, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. And here are a whole lot of links for some more good stuff. Thanks for watching and stay passionate. So bloody hard, come on, press the buttons.